Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Welcome back. Today we are in Avondale, Arizona, just outside Phoenix, and we are at Blue Compass RV, formerly known as Tom's Camperland. We're going to look at a Class C, Super C, I don't know. You're going to have to help me out with this one if it's a Class C or Super C. This is the Entourage. This is the 330, 330DS. Let's look. All right, so before we get into all the fun stuff, this is on a Silverado 5500 Duramax engine Chevy chassis. It is four-wheel drive, four by four. All right, as you look up, you got an awning that covers, well, it covers everything that's important, almost the whole side. First compartment down here, propane. Second compartment, storage. Third compartment, storage. Decent sized storage. This one here is access to the back of the fridge. As we move further down, you do have a TV with a sound bar out here already mounted full time, which is great. Another decent sized storage compartment underneath. And then this, what is this? This is a connection for uh, water, I believe. Okay, or is that propane? Uh, what water must we? Propane, that's propane. My bad guys, propane. As we come to the back, you've got a ladder already mounted. You've got a camera already mounted. There is a hitch for towing already mounted as well. We'll put the towing capacity uh, in the video for you guys to look at. As we come around to the other side, that is your power right there. It's locked, so I can't get in there and I apologize. All right, but another huge storage compartment, Lisa. That's huge. Yeah. Right? There is your sewer compartment. Right here is where you put your diesel. Again, this is diesel. Uh, your city water connections right there. Again, it's locked. Beneath there, another big storage. Right. There's lots of storage in this one, Lisa. Yeah. Another storage compartment up here in the slide. Uh, storage down there. You got to be careful. There are some electrical components, but there is storage there. And your generator. You got nice. an on in 5500. So let's go inside. So this is a, a very unique design. Uh, again, I don't know if it's classified as a Super C or a, or a C. But uh, as we come forward, remember it's built on a, a Chevy 5500 chassis. Okay, so there's your Chevy front. They haven't done a lot of augmentations there. Okay. Um, and then above here is the bed. So you see this sort of flips up so you can have access to this while inside. But when you're not driving, it's a bed. And this obviously can unhook so you can get in and out. Okay. This dinette is also really uniquely. So look at this. Oh my so goodness, yeah. This, when you're driving down the road, goes in like that. Nice. Right? Yeah. And so it's easier to get in and out. But if you need more capacity, you can pull that out and it's got another sleeve. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. I like there, that. There is storage underneath down there. Very okay. nice. We're sitting in the theater chairs and then across from the theater chairs, as you can see, is the TV. Now the TV swivels out. So if the person up there wants to watch TV, they can watch TV. Okay. So the person in that front bunk can have a TV. And there's some cabinetry left and right. Very nice. All right. There are seat belts on the dinette, so you can sit on the dinette while driving down the road. Very nice. We were just sitting here on the theater chairs, which are incredibly comfortable. Yes. <laughs> there are seat belts here. These are fully electric. They are recliners. I just, you know, they're, they're fully electric, so they're not going to move right now. Okay. And then to my right, to Lisa's left, is the kitchen, which is sort of an L, but broken up a little bit. Yeah, it is. Um, so we've got our microwave and our stove here on the side. We also have... It's a wireless charging plate. Yeah, very nice. Um, the stove is three burner stove. There is an oven there. We have a nice big storage drawer underneath. Oh yeah, look at the clouds. And they're deep. Yeah, I like this. Five that of them. really yeah. nice, yeah. So yeah, five of those. Um, on the other side, we have a sink. Oh, this solid surface too. Yeah. And that is a single basin sink with a tall faucet. I like the back Yeah, I was just about to say, I love the tile work. Yeah. Um, we've got some nice storage overhead. Yeah. And some storage underneath as well. And it goes way back in there, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, let's not also forget there is storage above your theater chairs. Okay. Right? And that is a full pass-through. As you walk in, there's also storage here uh, to put stuff right here by the door. And let's not forget your control panels down there. Now we have the refrigerator. Yes. So that is a 12 volt. Now, by the way, the reason why it's broken up is the, uh, the stove and microwave are, are on the slide, right? So there's the edge of the slide and the sink is mounted full time. It doesn't stationary. move. Stationary. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. So as we get a little bit further, there's a step 
a tiny little step right there, mm -hmm. and the bathroom is split. We have the shower here, and then we have the, uh-oh, uh you know what time it is. It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. <laughs> All right, so uh, again, if I haven't mentioned it in this video, I am six foot four, so use my height as reference as we walk around the RV. And at my height, as you can see, Houston, we have a problem. As you can see, uh, I'm not in the bathroom. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Um, if we try to close the door, um, as you can see, my, my feet, it's, it's, it's not gonna close. Now, there is a door here that closes off this bathroom it's it's right there All right so here just there is a door here to close off from the rest and with this open of course nobody can see anything but there is also another door right here so if you're my height and you love this entourage model you're gonna have to leave the door open to the bathroom <laughs> um, if you're smaller than I am then obviously you would have no problems okay but I wanted to make sure I point that out for the tall people in the world all right, so next to me, you've got your vanity, which is solid surface. Love it. Under counter mount, stainless sink, nice faucet. No medicine cabinet, but that, that mirror is very tall. I can see my entire self in there. Down beneath the sink, there is some storage on two shelves. You have a TP holder right here next to the toilet. You have a cabinet here for storing your linens and things. And then a little, that's probably where you're going to have to put your medicines, y'all, since there's no medicine cabinet. And then you also have storage up top. Now, when we first started in the bathroom, Lisa was actually standing in the shower. The shower is directly across from the toilet. It does have our favorite retractable door. We love that. And um, this shower is a little bit deeper than some that we've been in. However, it does have this long shelf, which I like. However, when I'm standing in here, it forces me to come over to this side a bit more. You know, I mean, if of course, if there's stuff here I'm gonna be knocking it off too so I, I, I don't I don't know what to make of that okay so um, definitely if you like the floor plan you're gonna to want to check this out too the, the toilet for the tall person and the shower a little awkward my head is in the bubble I've only got two fingers above my head so you could only be six five max six five and a half and stand in this shower so um, yeah a, a little awkward with the with the the makeup of the shower so come on out of there Lisa let's go back into the master the master is kind of cool y'all so the bed is on a, a retractable system meaning when you're going down the road this the bed's on a slide so the slide is going to have to come in and obviously come up to here so to make that happen this bed has to retract back so we're going to try to get a measurement on this usually they do this so they can get close to a residential size mattress in here so that looks like it's 72 by 72 72 by 72 so an rv king with it up sorry guys i can't get on there okay there is some drawers underneath which you can see or one big drawer so you have some extra storage down there you have storage up top and this is full pass through all the way okay um there's power or at least usb on this side um there's power down there there you go, Lisa. It's tough in here. By the way, I love the big window here in the back. I we didn't too. talk about it, but it gives you nice views out the back. It does. I like that as well. Is there power over here too? There's USB and power. Yep. So for those who need plug-in CPAPs, there is power for you. Okay. Then up here, look at this. There's your. It's already in here. Oh wow. Is that okay. a washer dryer combo? I no, that's just so. a washing machine. Oh, is it? And the dryer, I think, would go here. It's strange that this is the louvered yeah. thing. I think it's a washer dryer combo, Lisa. Let me put my glasses on so I can see it. Yeah, automatic washer and vented dryer. Okay. It, I swear that is supposed to be here. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. It, it just, it, if, if it's vented, that's, yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused. But the vent is usually where the dryer goes. The, the louvered doors yeah. is normally where the dryer goes. So that's interesting. Well, either way, so you can put a washer dryer in here. As you can see, those shelves pull out, which are nice. Um, we'll go back over here one more time. And uh, yeah, this is, I guess, where it goes. All right. And then you have a TV with some storage behind it. Big storage behind oh, it. Yeah. Nice. Um, this is not on a piston. So you're going to have to hold that. Okay. 
You do have two big drawers here. You have a matching wardrobe over here with a big hanging bar. Ah, very nice. Yep, and then beneath here, you've got two drawers, skinny drawers here, and then two big ones. All there right. There we go. Well, there you have it, y'all. So, nice. uh, again, C, Super C, I don't know. I think they're probably classified as a Super C, right? Four-wheel drive, uh, Chevy 5500, you know, diesel. diesel. Um, yeah, so I think this would be classified as a Super C. Or at least, uh, maybe we can call C it a, 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 a good C. A good Instead C. of a Class C, it's a Class Good C, as opposed to a Super C. Uh, I don't know. I think C plus. <laughs> C plus. All right, y'all, if this is your first time joining our channel, you know what to do, right? Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, become part of the Tall Man Clan. It costs you absolutely nothing. It is free for you, and it really does help the channel out. We would sincerely appreciate it. Uh, for the Tall Man Clan, uh, God bless you guys. We really do appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts. Until we see you all again on the road, be safe.